you and Stig are jumping on board on something, aren't you? You've been, yeah. you've been playing the Phenom, the Phenom game. We've been playing the game of a generation, haven't we, Stig? Oh, a so game good. that comes around once every 15 years or so. Because we've been playing Baldur's Gate 3. Starfield. No, oh, sorry. <laughs> no, that's, ne- that's <laughs> next <mean> month. <laughs> <laughs> no, we, unless it gets delayed. Because has it? Don't, which it will. Don't tempt it. It hasn't gone gold. Has yet. it gone gold yet? No, it hasn't gone gold. That's it. <laughs> oh, next year, baby. <laughs> anyway, yeah, we've been playing Baldur's Gate three, which is made by what I can only Larry. assume is the greatest video game developer of recent years because they've never had a miss. <laughs> they haven't. I think the only miss they've had was one of the early Divinity games, and even then, that was just okay. Like, Beyond Divinity wasn't brilliant. Um, it was fine. It was fine. No, we're talking about Baldur's Gate 3 developed by Larian Studios using the um, the Dungeons & Dragons license from Wizards <gasps> of the Coast. Um, coming, what, nearly 20 years after Baldur's Gate 2? 20 years, 21 years. Something like that, yeah. Just looking now, uh, 2000, so 23 years. 23 years after Baldur's Woo-hoo! Gate 2. Older than me! This... Older than Candy. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and yeah, young looking. So... Before this game came out, my <laughs> my potential games of the year were either Dead Space or Hi-Fi Rush. They're not anymore. I no, no, not no, anymore. <laughs> this not is, a fucking chance. I, I'm only 16 hours in. It's already my game of the year. Like, yeah. It's just it's uh, incredible. It is, I'm saying it off the bat now. I cannot fucking wait for this. You are absolutely going to adore this, Udo. So for those who aren't aware of what a, what a Baldur's Gate game is... Um, what is a Baldur's Gate? It is, well, Baldur's Gate is a city in Faerun. Uh, a very famous place in the D&D lore. This is D&D the video game, and this is the most D&D game I've ever played. And I've played a lot of D&D games. <laughs> I, I, read some, I read someone's review saying, it's more D&D than D&D. It, it, it is, yeah. <laughs> you play as either one of a, a set of uh, pre-made heroes or your own. Naturally, you make your own. Of yeah, course, of course you, you do. Yeah, of course you fucking do. If you're making a pre-roll one, you're an idiot. No. Uh, you um, start the game... so. Oodles, with what you know about D&D, you will know, this, you will know yep. how important all this is. You started, yep. you've been captured by Illithids and taken away on one of their ships. Uh-oh. I love them. And you have... Then they're, they're the fucking... Yeah, the ones with the tentacles coming out their face. Yeah. And while captured, you have an Illithid brain parasite put into your head, which should no. start, you, start the transformation process to make you an Illithid, but you mm. fuck shit up and break out and end up in Faerun. And you haven't transformed yet. And that's your start of the quest. Oh, so what's stopping that happening? What, what is stopping that a happening? Mystery. I don't know. We don't know. I love a mystery. This game, it could so, be an illicit, though. So both me, hmm. me and Stig have been playing this long enough. For, for, uh, he's a little bit more than me because I've been away. But I'm about 15 hours in. He's about 16 hours in. Um, I'm assuming we're both in Act 1. I'm, I'm nowhere. I keep wandering around <laughs> doing things like going back to things. Like I went back to. Think still in the ship. I went back. I went back to the ship because there's a door near the ship, and I, I I looked at it. and Went, oh, it's locked. Fuck it. Like leave it. Met up with this guy, and then later on, I was like, oh, hang on, he's a rogue, and he's really good at. He, he can naturally lock lock pick. picking. So he's yeah. I, and I went. I could go back to that door and see if I could lockpick it. Sure enough, I lockpick this door, and it just opens up this massive area in this crypt, and like yeah. there's a fight in there, and like all this other stuff going on. And there's a really Love important, that. really important character in there that if you don't go in there, you don't get. <laughs> so you could just miss all that out if you just don't go to that area. I Love we, that. across two different discords, both me and Stig have been talking to quite a few people about this game. None of us are having the same experience. They've discovered areas I haven't gone. I'm this cur- is what I'm loving seeing. Yeah. I'm currently in an area that none of them have even reached um, wow. because we've all gone different directions. We all have completely different party setups. Um, some people have even lost uh, party characters or like sent them on their on their merry way, <laughs> I, and I, they aren't available. I had one who got pissed off with me and left, but <laughs> yeah, I then died, and it this my save was before he. Fucked off, so he came back, which was a bit disappointing <gasps> because I, I <laughs> like the idea that. Scummed. Well, yeah, I, I like the idea that I pissed him off enough that he was just like, right, yeah, fine, fuck I'm, it, I'm, I'm leaving. When I play it, I'm vowing not to save scum at all. I'm going to play the but true you need to, chaos. You need to um, quick save lots, then, if you're going to do that. Yeah. The, the, there has been many situations where I've just walked into a room and died. Like, we've a full, part, oh, full, really? full party yeah. wipe because. This game doesn't hold back. I'm, pl- I'm not even playing on hard. I'm playing on balanced difficulty, and I'm getting fucked over regularly. I yep. want this. I want it to last me all year. 
this is a game that you will put hundreds of hours in around other games. I can see. I'm going to play yes. through this multiple times. Yeah, yeah. It is yeah. beautiful. I, I think the best way to describe it to you would also because you've played this game. Um, take, I've played Baldur's Gate 1 and no, 2 as no, well. Take Divinity Original Sin 2. Mm, and then, love it. And then a plus symbol and then the word more. <laughs> I have beaten <laughs> Divinity, Divinity 2 about three times because I adore it. I adore every aspect it's, of it. it. And I knew it, I knew it was secretly D&D then without the license. Yeah. So I'm glad they've got it. Yeah, this is this is just Divinity Original Sin 2 with the D&D license and just more of it. The um, like I was looking I, I was looking at it and I want I want I was like I, I could actually make the Red Prince and bring him back. If you get you know what the, I, mean? I mean if you get the um the digital deluxe edition uh, which we all have cuz we pre-ordered it. Um, mm-hmm. It comes with the Red Prince's cape. Fuck off! I'm gonna have to pre-order it tonight. Yeah, it, yeah. It, <laughs> it, it basically comes with um, some some like DLC items related to all the main heroes from. D- I would Divinity pre-order 2. it right now, but I don't know how it works on a controller yet. It works great on a controller. I've been playing it, on the Steam oh, Deck fuck. while I've been away. Yeah, I played <gasps> a bit on the Ally as well, but I do I do prefer mouse and keyboard though mouse, for this mouse, game. It's, mouse it's and just... keyboard is better, but the, given how complex, surely with, with 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 a controller mode, surely it's got to zoom into the character a bit more. No, no, you, you can just no. use you, the the view, you can use you can zoom in right into the character just with the stick. But um, you could you could on uh, Divinity though, couldn't yeah. you? Yeah, um, the, the, they've made it. It is better with keyboard and mouse, but they have made the. I have got a keyboard and mouse that I can plug into PlayStation if I yeah. need it. They've got the best possible version of a controller interface for this. Is it a wheel? Uh, it's multiple wheels, and you cycle through yeah. with, with the shoulder buttons. I, I prefer I prefer wheel when they use wheels instead of hot keys yeah. and stuff like that. Um, I don't really have anything I can criticize about the game. Like it's been, it's a ninety-seven on Metacritic, mate. Yeah, it's it's been a little <laughs> bit janky for the first couple of weeks, but they're they're putting out regular hot fixes and bug fi- bug fixes, and it's been now major. I had one bug where I came out of a quest and my entire screen went black, and I had to reload and that was it it's not the end of the world though that is it no. yeah. the, the only th- the only issue i have is my pc so it's not even a game issue it's just <laughs> yeah. my pc it's, yeah. if, if it if it goes into a cutscene and there's a lot going on it takes like 10 it seconds for it to kind of just get itself yeah, right yeah. yeah sometimes it needs to be g'd up a little bit but yeah um, but that'll be fine game, on the playstation though, just, though won't it it'll be absolutely fine it's just the dialogue options the options to do things you could you know, to say, oh, you might miss something. That sounds like a bad thing, but it's not because it's just it, it encourages you to encourages you to explore everything. I got a thing saying, I read a diary and it said, explore the cellar. I'm looking around this cellar and I have to explore everything, and there was just this hidden thing somewhere, and that opened mm. up a whole new area, and I found this really wow. cool artifact from it. And you could just miss that by not simply reading the diary. Yeah, and and but that that creates all these unique playthroughs for everyone. Mm. Mm. Everyone's got their own their own set up character. Everyone like gadget says to do the the party different. They armor them up differently. You can you, when you you can level up your party and you can give them multi classes, sub classes, like all this kind of extra stuff. You don't have to just stick with what the game has. That game that character's a fighter. That character doesn't have yeah, to yeah. stay as a fighter. You can then decide to. Kind of multi-class them and, and do something else with them, and it's it, it has helped I me am, playing Scott Sheep to understand this a lot more. Because that's what I was just about to say. I am glad that I've got into the world a little bit. Didn't have this D and D kind of embedded in it as much as this does. No, it was the world, no, wasn't it? No, no, it, it was they, in the background they, more than like. No, they, no, they, they, they did. Baldur's Gate One and Two were very D and D games. The problem was they were using the older rule sets, which were really contrived and complicated. Whereas this one's based on D and D Fifth Edition, which is what we play on Scored Sheep, which is the most user friendly version of D and D. Which, for the listeners, mean Five E. He's talking about. Yeah, but what, I'm, I, know, what I, I mean know is about like this the roll, the dice rolling, and like the way you can pr- approach things. Whereas oh, I've been fucked over by natural ones so it, many it times. It wasn't so much <laughs> like that in. in I re- I'm gonna get lucky again, aren't in I? In the originals, sail through it with all my dice rolls. Oodles. I wonder if Becky's gonna play. Yeah, Oodles. Oodles. can he play multiplayer? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. You can join yeah, yeah. four people in a you party. Can we all their games? Yeah. Uh, Oodles, also, you're going to love the fact that this game is gay as fuck. Oh yeah, I've seen, I've seen a few there videos. There is so of the much LBGT and I'm bang into it. Representation of this game is beautiful. Yeah. Um, also, I, I can make my man with my um, with my vagina, can I? Yes, you can. The dream. Yeah, you, you, the dream. You could. Um, there is also like consequences to literally every single fucking choice, like. Uh, I, I don't know, Stinger, in the Blighted Village, did you get the gnome off the windmill? 
Uh, yes, I did, but I've seen the other option. So, well, when I got him, <laughs> when I got him off the windmill, uh, my my character I'm playing to Allah uh, is a tiefling. Um and copied you there. Yeah, he, no. he absolutely mugged me off because he's a fucking racist. He hates tieflings. Oh, shit. So I didn't get I didn't oh. I didn't get the reward for letting him down. It, it is like a <laughs> underground gnome or whatever he was, and I'm a drow, yeah. so like we like the dark stuff. Da- but like the, the best, that's a good thing as well, is depending on the race you pick, you could get into a scrap or get through by just talking to them. Uh, and original Sin 2 did that. I though, walked into you? the village and he was just like, Oh, you look like one of us, basically. That wasn't the, you know, the, yeah. the actual dialogue, but he basically said, "Oh, you look like you'd be one of us." So mm. like, come through. I am. I, I like, will have to say, fine. I'm conscious of time. Let's talk more about this in the green room because you've still got something to talk about, haven't you, Stig? Oh, is that is this? No, no, no just, I've got a film I want to talk about. So, uh, okay, I, I think the last word I have to say on this game is fucking buy it. Like, <laughs> I think I, I'm gonna. <laughs> don't this, worry. this is one of the few games that you don't need to know D and D to play it. It's very good at teaching you the rules of D&D. Yeah. But you could actually go and play D&D after playing this game. Go and play it. Um, it's very clear. The characterization is wonderful. The graphics are wonderful. All of the voice acting is top-notch. Because, you know, sometimes in these games, they get, like, some, like, jobbing yeah, voice actors do, in. Yeah. It's a bit shit. No, perfect voice acting. And always, always, Including always, if you're playing a spellcaster, take Speak to Animals. Yeah. Because the animals have the funniest <laughs> did, fucking dialogue. dialogue. You're always like, you can, kick, and, you can kick that squirrel, can't you? Yeah. And they also can <laughs> there give is a mysterious hints. cow in one place that won't speak yeah. to me, and it's really pissing me off because you just walk Most up to him and goes then. moo, <laughs> <laughs> and, the, and, the, and the and the character like the character name on the subtitle is mysterious cow. I was like, but I got I, I, my what's, name is what's your mystery? <laughs> when I talked to the cow, he said they're always putting something in my hay, so I went and checked the hay, and there was like treasures in it. Yeah. They're like if it cool. appears to, to talk to them. Anyway, yeah, we'll carry on talking about that in the green room because there's lots of Yes, more, more, more on that.